It's news time for a hundredth time. Hi everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Mike and welcome to another weekly news update. And that is, if we count correctly, episode number 100. That's right, we've been doing this for a hundred episodes now. We skipped some of Saturdays along the way, but still it's a pretty good number, pretty round number and great achievement for us. And I'm very glad that you guys are enjoying these uh, videos a lot. I I think if we count correctly, 104 episodes would be actually exactly two years of reporting. So we're very short, very close to that number. So in four episodes, we're gonna pass two years of doing news weekly. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. And in this week's episode, we have the new idea set coming. There are some rumors from the LEGO world, some polybags popped up for the upcoming months and a lot of other small things that happen in the LEGO world. But before we jump into all that, let's check out this week's Amazon deals. As every week guys, we've got some Amazon deals for you today. Some of these sets are on a really good sale, especially the Batwing being 28% off. If you still wish to pick this up, that is a good point in time. You should also check out the Ninjago movie set sales. The Quake Mech, for example, is 12% off. But let's move on into the biggest reveal of this week. The ship in the bottle, Ideas set, is coming very close. February 1st is the official launch date. We've got official pictures for this one. That is the ship in a bottle, set number 21313. The age recommendation for this set is 10 plus. It has 962 pieces. The pricing as of now is set at $69.99 in the US, $89.99 in Canadian dollars. In Germany, the set will be retailing for €69.99. The UK price is almost £70 and you would have to pay 600 Danish krons in Denmark. Now there is a bit of discussion around this set as Alan Tran from BrickFan.com stated in his very good article. Uh, the comparison between this set and the original design is quite significantly different. The original project was having around 1800 parts, it was much more detailed having the rigging for the mass and a bigger bottle than the one we see on the official images. And overall it was more appealing to the eye. Trying to keep the cost down I guess, LEGO pretty much cut this uh, set count in half and uh, making the ship a much smaller design. And even though many people like the redesign and making the ship a bit more compact, other fans are thinking that it's diverting too much from the original design. We also have to take into account that the set has over 280 translucent blue water style elements inside, so that makes the ship and the bottle alone only around 682 pieces. That further makes you think that the set is actually pretty small. I can see many fans attempting to modify this to look more like the original design, and I think it's pretty well justified because apart from the bottle, which seems to be a better design in the official set than the initial project, the whole ship definitely looked better in the first uh, version. I still think it's a great display piece for your desk, so many people will pick this up just for that reason, because on its own it does look good, just in my personal opinion it is missing that factor that brought this ship to 10,000 supporters in the first place. I don't think the final design of the ship would bring that much support. I think that is one of the biggest redesigns on the Ideas platform so far, and most definitely the biggest difference in parts count between the original project and the final product. But just a few points about the features of this set, we of course get the ship, the bottle and the display stand, the cork in front of the bottle has a new wax seal style element and the ship itself will feature a raised deck at the stern, a captain's quarters, six cannons, three masts, a crow's nest and a selection of elements including the printed sails and the ship's flag. The name of the ship is Leviathan, just as the original. It's gonna come with a nameplate, a built-in compass with a detailed compass rose and two globe elements on the side of the stand. It is not a big model, we're gonna have about 3 inches of height, 12 inches of width and the model will be about 3 inches deep. The ship itself is 3 inches high, 5 inches long and 1 inch wide. All of these dimensions are sometimes a half and sometimes even a third of the original size of the project. So if you are waiting for this model, again the launch date is not far from now, it's February 1st. In more set news, we had a bunch of polybags being shown in the last week's episode by Jack and this time around we have more of them coming pretty soon I guess. The Lego Batman movie line received a lot of new polybags. The one that interests me the most is the Ultimate Batmobile polybag. The mini Ultimate Batmobile will feature pretty much the same features that we had in the big set. So you'll be able to build three vehicles, the big Batmobile, the Batwing and the Bat Tank that Alfred was driving in the original set. The second one is the Lego Batman movie Bat Shooter. There is a very simple build with some cardboard cutouts for the Batman movie villains. Not very excited about this one to be honest. Ninjago is getting new things as well. There is gonna be a polybag with Ninjago Zane Kendo. 
training pod. So I guess LEGO is continuing the trend with those battle pods. However, I don't think that Zane's sprint is exclusive to this one. There is one weird polybag called the LEGO Ninja Go training kit. I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't seem to have many bricks inside, just some things to improve your motoric skills with using uh, chopsticks, I guess. Super weird thing, so we'll see what it actually is. One more polybag is called the Wu Crew target training. And I think in this one we have Lloyd and Nia doing their training, of course. And one more polybag from Ninja Go is called just the Turbo. This one is connected to the Sons of Garmadon season. And this one includes Lloyd in his Go kart. And I think Lloyd may have an exclusive print for this one. So most definitely there is one more polybag to really get. And there is one more friend's polybag called the Clubhouse Pod. That includes one of the friend's characters, a small critter and a bunch of accessories. This week also provided a bit of rumors. The next reported minifigure collectible series is about the costumes. And coming from the Brick Show, we have a list of possible character names for this series. Some of them sound pretty sweet. This is how it goes. We're gonna get the Red Suit Brick Guy, the Classic Police Officer, Elephant Suit Girl, the Rocket Slash Firework Guy, Red Dragon Suit Guy, a Birthday Cake Guy, kind of wondering what this one's gonna be about. Race car guy, flower girl, blue brick girl, blue unicorn knight, an orange balloon lego fanboy, spider suit guy, purple balloon girl, a cactus girl, cowboy suit guy, balloon artist clown and cat suit guy slash girl. I'm always a fan of those special molds for the costumes for lego minifigs, so this collection seems like an awesome goldmine of unique characters. Really I expect it to be one of the best original lego collections so far, apart from the licensed ones of course. Another rumor that was crawling around was about Unikitty, the new Cartoon Network show. And rumors have it that we're gonna get 5 sets connected to the show. Sets are numbered from 41451 to 41455. And there is an extra number associated with this show, 41775, that supposedly might be a series of bags similar to what we had in the retired Mixels line. Those can even be some minifigure characters, we don't know yet. And I think all these rumors about all the sets that we get so far are probably connected to the fact that we are getting closer to all the big toy fairs this summer in February. The New York Toy Fair and Nuremberg Toy Fairs will happen, so I expect all of these rumors to be either confirmed or declined during those shows. That's gonna be one exciting time of the year, as every year around this time. And by the way, we also had rumors about the coming Back to the Future sets and the Simpsons coming back, but those rumors are so foggy that we don't really know much more about that. And speaking of shows, many of you may notice that there is a show on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us. The first season was pretty interesting, showing the likes of Star Wars, Mattel, Barbie and so on. Supposedly, the second season will feature Lego as a brand in the show. And we had a small personal hint about that, because while being at Bricks LA last weekend, people from the media company working with that show were on the floor, walking around and introducing themselves to a lot of Lego builders around the convention. The Facebook fan page of this show published some pictures from Bricks LA showing fans holding their posters. We even spotted Miro Dudas, our friend on one of the pictures, a great Star Wars builder. And even we were personally approached by the media company representative and spoke briefly about the show during that convention. I believe the second season won't be up for several months on Netflix. So we'll have to see how it goes further, we're gonna keep you posted on that. Also, if you remember Jack mentioning the DJ polybag from last week, the new Star Wars character from The Last Jedi, this one should be at this point available in Toys R Us stores, and you can get one for free with any LEGO Star Wars $30 purchase, or possibly buy one for $6 each. It all depends on the local stores, so you better ask before purchase. Some video news, the trailer for season 8 called The Sons of Garmadon for Ninja Go was released. We already have a lot of these sets on shelves, so you guys probably know more about that. But if you're into the show itself, the trailer shows a lot of cool things. The main highlight for this season is the Oni Mask part that comes with some minifigures. You can have at least 3 to collect in those sets as far as I know. And so far I've been enjoying these sets very much. I don't think those will surpass the Ninja Go movie sets in quality, but still I think it's a step up on the Ninja Go season sets compared to the last one called The Hands of Time. If you want to see the full trailer, I'm gonna leave a link below. Also, if you are following the Legoland California news, they were working on the new 4D film for the Lego Ninjago movie theme. It's called The Master of the Fourth Dimension, and I think that as of the publishing of this video, the movie should be up and running for everyone to see at Legoland California. The premiere date was set for January 12th. Also, if you are following the Lego Rebrick, there is a new contest being run. This one is about the new City Mountain Police sub-theme, and the goal is to of course use the Lego bricks to showcase some really cool chase between the bad and good guys in the mountain 
mountains. And the one grand prize for this contest is including all of the mountain police sets. And on top of that, the winner will receive an $800 shopping spree on shoplego.com. Yep, that's 800 bucks of spendings on anything you want from the Lego shop. Also, two runner-up winners will receive the big set, the 60174 Mountain Police Headquarters, and a $300 shopping spree for the online shop. There's also one bonus prize of one headquarters set. You have almost one month to enter, the contest will conclude on February 8th. And before we move into the LEGO Ideas section, there were some updates for the software that everyone is using in the LEGO world. The LDRAW, one of the most popular LEGO design programs, received a new update that expands the parts library with 717 new files. And also, if you are using the LEGO Digital Designer, the new update, numbered 4.3.11, is now available and this one includes over 400 pieces introduced to the LEGO world in last year. And now let's move on to the LEGO Ideas section, a platform where people submit their own LEGO creations, then other people vote for them and basically LEGO can get them into an actual set when they gain enough support. The main story is of course the announcement of the ship in a bottle that we talked about at the beginning of the episode. And around the same time that LEGO was teasing us with the new ship, the third 2017 ideas review stage was going underway. Sets from this review stage will be announced somewhere in summer 2018 and should come to shelves after the Tron cycle from Brick Bros UK that was already approved and a set or sets coming from the second 2017 review stage results of which we should know pretty soon, it states early 2018. But in the third review stage we have JK Brickworks and Grant Davis with their pop-up book, The Boathouse Diner, The Lighthouse and The Dive Shop by Robin Ann, the same designer that is standing behind the old fishing store. There is also the Jaguar E-Type Roadster by Ozzy Eating Bats, RuPaul's Brick Race by Seamark Geek, and the LEGO Christmas Story House that was approved recently by Tower Toes. The highlight for this review stage is three sets from one designer, namely Robin Ann. This has never happened before and Robin Ann actually had a set on shelves right now, the old fishing store as I mentioned. So I wonder how will LEGO handle those sets on equal basis as the other ones? Are we gonna see a second idea set from the same designer on shelves for the first time ever? I don't really know. I just hope this review stage will be fair and square for everyone. Other than that, no new sets were approved for the review stage, but there is one I really want to highlight. This one is the Pathfinder Spaceship by Delusion Keeper. And the reason I chose is that I really want LEGO to come back to somewhat space classic or just old school space sets. This one seems to hit the mark. Reminds me of a mix between Blacktron, Spirius and maybe even the Ice Planet a bit, in terms of shaping at least. But even the set itself seems to be a really cool design, a really well thought through, with a transitioning ship from flying mode to ground mode of some sort. And overall it's one of the most original ideas designs I've seen in that classic old school theme. There's even a video that the designer prepared about this ship, you can check it out in the links below. And honestly, Honestly, I think given the originality of this project, it very much so deserves some support. The designer seems to be very experienced with sci-fi projects as he has four of them on the platform right now. That is his latest one and you should definitely check those out. Alright, and that is it for this week's news update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this news report, uh, leave a like below and hit that subscribe button. We would really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys for staying with us. 100 episodes is a lot and we're going for 200. So we'll see you then. <laughs> anyway, thanks again so much for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you again on Brick Vault.